guys, what is up? Um, today I am doing a Louis Vuitton haul and I was actually going to wait until I got some more Louis Vuitton. So I got all this stuff from the South Coast Plaza Louis Vuitton mall and I should not be spending money right now. I need to be saving because I'm supposed to be moving. I need to be saving because I have music videos I got to do. <laughs> like, I need to be saving and I'm spending. But um, yeah, people are living in glamorous houses and I'm living in an apartment with a Bath and Body Works refill. So priorities. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do this because I really just want to start wearing this stuff and I just I want to show you guys because I always start wearing stuff and then I'm like it's old nobody cares So this is some of the new spring collection stuff. This is from Orange County's Louis Vuitton and um, yeah. I did get a scarf for my sister and some glasses for my mom So even though yes, it's probably five thousand dollars on Louis Vuitton some of it went as gifts. Okay. 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 I wish I could get some sort of hookup. So anyways, anyways We'll just start. This is, oh my god, there's so much to do today. Like, this brown one, I did not buy a Louis Vuitton. This was a secondhand site. Okay, so we'll just get in. How is it hot? Oh my god, it's hot in here. It was so cool. Okay, we're just gonna get right into it and just unbox these babies. Um, so they have a lot of pink stuff, which you guys don't know, I love pink. I have a pink car, hello, pink, 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 everything. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we'll start with the sunglasses, which are not really sunglasses. Their sunglasses are so expensive. Like, if you shop somewhere like Gucci or Prada, like, their sunglasses are so much cheaper. Like, anywhere from the $200 to $500 range. It's were $650, and they're not even sunglasses. But I really liked them, and I'm like, I think I'm going to wear these a lot, especially because I don't wear makeup all the time. And so I feel like on those days where I don't want to wear makeup, I want to look just as hideous as possible. So I got these. Um, they're, like, plastic glasses. I don't know the frame number. Anyways, so they're kind of like construction worker goggles. And, like, I think it's a look... I think it's like, hey, I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm still high fashion. So, it's $150 well spent. It's like a titty pick. Put it out. There you go. Um, I love Louis Vuitton. I love the packaging of Louis Vuitton. I love the way it's so pretty with the little ribbon. There was so much more I wanted to get, and I was just like, girl, no. Don't do it. I'm hot. Wow. Okay, so this goes with, like, an ensemble. So... This is such a cute little backpack. It is the Demi, Demier Azur Azul. I'm so bad with memes. I don't even know, but look how tiny it is. But it comes like in two options. You can wear it as a backpack or you can wear it as like a purse purse. And it's such a tiny little nugget and it has the pink inside. And I love this print. I used to kind of be scared of it because people would say it stains easily and picks up like color transfer from shirts. I haven't noticed it. And I have tan and spray tan and all that. Um, oh shoot, there was two ways you could wear this. Oh man, the lady showed me. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just, okay, this is, let's show you. I know there was two ways, but I liked it as the backpack and I tried it on and it was plenty of space for me. Okay. Okay, hi. Oh, let's hope I didn't pay anything. Sometimes I get a PayPal notification and it's like, oh, I paid. Sometimes I'm like, did I get money? No, I paid money to a company I don't even know what I'm paying for. So that's really cute, and um, yeah, I just like mini backpacks. I have a ton of them, but I tend to go for those the most. I think they're kind of easy. I think they're pretty casual. Like, if you don't want to carry, like, a full purse, you can just go ahead and um, get this little nugget. Um, I love the patine leather on it, which does age over time. But as far as Louis Vuitton goes, I think it's kind of classic. Um, I did look at Versace and Blood and was like in love with a lot of the stuff. But this was really cute. I had to get this, obviously, because it was cute. But there was something I saw before this that I was like, oh, it kind of was like in its own little like section together. So it's, it's a tiny bag. It's not like they have a bigger one, but this is a tiny one. But you can still fit a lot. The reason I also like mini backpacks is because they're wide, so you can fit more chunky things like my camera, my phone, like chunkies. <laughs> chunky people got to stick together. Um, okay, I think these might be the shoes. There's two shoes that go with that actually, so I was like, okay, I kinda need that. Um, but they have the cutest things with this one. Oh my god. Literally, I've been to so many Louis Vuittons and this one was the best. Okay, so these are the shoes. I used to love luxury unboxing. I wish more people would do them. Who did them? I think Todd Detati used to do them. And I think this girl named Holly Anna Ray, which hasn't she hasn't made a video in so long, and she was so beautiful and she would unbox Louis Vuitton and she was so beautiful. I, I was just like, like she was very like well spoken and like 
she just always had like beautiful makeup and she always just seemed to have like a great life she always had like a hot boyfriend and she's always buying like louis vuitton so i kind of miss these old school i know people don't really do them anymore and kind of people don't really care as much about them but i get really excited and i know when i like see other people have things i'm kind of like oh yeah that's cute maybe it's something i want to have picked out but then i see someone else wearing it, i'm like oh yeah that's cute so it's also kind of why i'm doing this i'm sorry the background is so ugly i don't really have a spot filming that's another reason i need to move there's like no cute filming spots in my house believe it or not okay so this is the shoe i saw which was uh, actually my sister and my mom saw this and like Trisha that's so you and I actually wasn't going to get this I was just going to get the glasses and go because there was other bags of Versace and Louis Vuitton that I really wanted <sighs> but I saw these and they were only like 900 bucks I know that's a lot but like I thought they were going to be like a couple thousand so they were super super cute um, again it has like this pink suede with pink like patent leather and then of course it has that Damier Azul print um, and it did fit, they fit so comfortable they do fit I think they are sized a size up or a size, I don't, I don't know, but I know they're like a size one way or the other and I, I'm always so confused when they say that. I'm like, I'm normally a seven, so just get me, I can actually tell you guys the size and I'll let you guys know. Um, maybe 36 and a half, so I'm usually 37. So I got a 36 and a half, so I guess they're just a little size, I don't know, I still don't know how to, is that a size up or a size down, I don't know. But these are really cute and like I said, they were kind of positioned with this bag and I was just like, okay, this is like, if I get the shoes, I'm going to get the bag. And that's just like a really cute outfit for spring. Especially because I like wearing like white shorts and white pants. And like I have a white, white romper I just recently purchased. So I was like, okay, that's going to be real cute um, for a spring. Um, and I like this Louis Vuitton because I don't know if it's because I've, I've shopped more. Or people kind of, I guess, like know me more as like shopping for high end. But I used to have the worst experiences in Louis Vuitton, especially in LA. Like it, like the Rodeo store, I won't even go in. Because they were always so rude to me. They would never let me like hold a bag in my hands. This was years ago. So maybe people just like know me now. I mean, it tends to be that way. Like even some of the employees at this, this, um, this location, like knew who I was and like, I, so maybe they're just like nicer to you because they're like oh she's like spends money or whatever I don't know which is kind of like BS but the other thing is they never let you film they're so like crazy like if you have your phone out like let's say like I'm buying something right but let's say I'm just like taking a picture to be like should I get this one or this one to show someone they're so crazy with it and I don't care at all but like seriously like probably like especially sitting there at like waiting for everything to get packaged up we we're probably there a good half hour and maybe like 30 people had come up to me and to take pictures and I don't mind it at all but I was like I had my camera out for like two minutes not, like no like 30 seconds actually and they're like no pictures I was like do you know what I mean like but I don't know I don't know the point of the story but I'll, just don't take pictures of the product I guess if you can take pictures I love taking pictures of people like I, that I don't care at all but I was just like I think because they had just like said something to me but I mean I don't know I don't know anyways <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was. But they're nice there. They're nice. But, you know, I think all high-end places, I don't know why they're snooty. Actually, Shane had that conspiracy theory that, like, they're snooty because they want you to spend money. Because when people treat you like you don't have $1,000 to spend at Louis Vuitton, which I think is a pretty, I'm not going to say attainable because I know... <sighs> The first half of my adult life, I would definitely never be able to spend a thousand. But a lot of people, once they get, especially like in their 30s, they can afford to spend a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes, even if that is a splur splurge to me still. Um, so I don't know why they treat people like that. Maybe there is some, like, like I don't know, maybe there is some truth to that conspiracy. Because I know that's how I was. I would go in there and just be like, they wouldn't let me hold a bag. <laughs> I remember my first one was a speed bandolier and they wouldn't let me hold a bag. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take it. And maybe that's why I still am like that when they're like, do you want to try stuff on? Because I had a bad experience at Brandy Melville years ago and I got in so much trouble for it because they called me a liar, which I wasn't, but they like had this weird thing about not letting me try on their clothes. And so I'm always like, that's like a trigger in my head. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just buy it. And that's why I never try on clothes. It's like not them. Okay. So these were kind of on display in the front and I saw these last minute and ended up picking these up as well. I love slides and these were really, really comfortable. And I loved the pink and, of course, the Jamie apron. And it matched the bag so perfectly. So I was like, I have to get these. These are just the cutest things ever. And so I ended up picking up these as well. Um, so, yeah. That's what those look like. And they were running low on those. So if you want those, pick them up. They had some really cute other things that I really want to get. Because I love Louis Vuitton. I just think it's so nice and classic. Like, the computer bag I carry is, you can't see it's over there. But it's like Louis Vuitton. And I love it. Um, so speaking of that, um, and I also want the heart... The, it's called the Digital Heart Online Exclusive Bag or Digital Heart Bag. It's pink. It's a pink crossbody and it's in the shape of the heart. They don't have it at the stores. I purchased it online and then it got canceled for some reason. I even called and was like, why was this canceled? I want to reorder. I still see it online. It's not. If you guys know of a store or you work for Louis Vuitton and you have that Digital Heart Exclusive Bag or you want to sell me yours and it's authentic. I know fancy 
vlogs by Gabby. Gabby DiMartino has it and it's so cute and I even never asked her to part with it because her red collection is so iconic and so pink and pretty. Um, I've been, I've been, I've been, we've been, we've had like three collabs set up, me, Nikki, and Gabby, and it's always been my fault and like this last time was so intense why I couldn't go and I have a whole story time one day sharing what happened a couple months ago, but literally like the day before something crazy happened and traumatic happened in my life. So um, it's, they probably always think I'm flaky, but Nikki and Gabby, if you see this, I love you girls so much. Like I'm obsessed with you guys so much. Um, like I'm still down to do it, but I know, I, I know someone's like on me like twice. I would be like, I can't with you. Um, okay. So anyways, this is from the real, real Tradesy, the real, real and Farfetch has some vintage stuff, but those I think are the ones, I think those are the ones I shop at the most to find my classic Louis bags, um, which is like the colored LV monogram, the like old school ones that you, I watch a lot of Girls Next Door and like Newlyweds and a lot of those old school Louis Vuittons that they carry, you can find on those sites. It's always hard to find the model and the name, so you kind of just have to like, sometimes I type in like Holly Madison Louis Vuitton color bag or like Jessica Simpson floral Louis Vuitton bag, like just so you kind of know the um, style because it is hard to find. Um, this one came a little bigger than I thought it would be, but it's still really, really cute. And this one came from Farfetch actually. Oh, this was brand new. So this is, this is so interesting. Sometimes you can find brand new ones because this is not a current bag that's sold on the website. So maybe this was just kept in really good condition. Um, and so Farfetch does, like I said, have very vintage Louise, um, but they go fast because there's just not, they don't have them in bulk. This one is new. I can tell by the patine that it's not aged. And I learned that between leather from Holly Anna Ray. Look her up. Um, I think I'm pronouncing her name right. So this is what this is. It's really, really cute. Obviously, you guys know I have a speedy sort of like this. Um, and that's very Jessica Simpson. But this one was just such a cute structure. I liked the little zipper. Um, this is my favorite pattern that, LV, that Louis Vuitton has come out with. Is the, um, the multicolored monogram. I, like it. I have a black bag like this. I have the white speedy. And I have this one. I would love to find a wallet, actually, which I'm sure would be very easy to find. Um, but yeah, I got this from Farfetch. So um, I think they, you know, those sites always are like, we make sure everything's authentic. So on my experience, I've gotten all authentic stuff. I know I've actually resold a bag that I purchased on those. Um, not for more money. I just like resold it at one of my local shops and they authenticate it. And they're like, yep, it's real. Like um, Posh, I believe, authenticates it as well. But Posh... I, I love Poshmark, um, but and the Louis Vuitton bags are nice on there. They're just definitely more worn. And when I say that once again, is like you can just tell on the coloring. Um, places like The Real Real and Tradesy and not sponsored. They those specialize in handbags and reselling of handbags, so they kind of want nice. You know what I mean? As, but but you can find great deals. Like sometimes I think I sold Louis Vuitton. I sold, I sold a Tom Ford, like a brand new Tom Ford bag that was originally like twenty seven hundred dollars. I think I sold it for like. 600 on, on Poshmark and it was brand new and I never worn it or used it and there was no wear on it So sometimes you can get really great deals and some people just want to get rid of stuff Or if you don't care a little wear like I personally don't my my um, computer bag I got has wear on it, it has like pen marks on the bottom. I'm like, I don't care. I just like that style so much So I got it for a great deal. You know what I mean? The stuff goes fast on Posh and Tradesy and all those places. So definitely if you see something make sure you get it I've learned my lesson the hard way. I'm like no, I had that in my cart and they're just like I don't care Someone else took it so Anyways, that's my Louis Vuitton haul. It was actually, with that purse, it was probably like a $7,000 Louis Vuitton haul. Um, please spend responsibly. Uh, I have gone into debt before buying designer things, so spend responsibly. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like it. And if you, you know, I like this kind of stuff. It's kind of what I spend my money on at the moment. I don't really have children or priorities or goals. <laughs> so this is what I'm spending my money on at the moment. But like these shoes make me so happy. Like I honestly could just put these on display and be so happy just looking at them. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And until next time, here my kisses from a little baby. Bye.